Anita Evans here for Video Language Network, the unique website for authentic English video lessons. Here at Video Language Network, we believe that improving your English begins by watching and listening to English as it is spoken in the real world. Let's begin our lesson by watching and listening to what Tom, an American filmmaker, has to say about his hobby, hiking. A hike is a long walk in the countryside. Are you ready? Let's watch. Hi, Anita Evans here in New York City. Today we're speaking with Tom Small, video director and editor, hiker, biker, and enthusiastic New Yorker. Hi, Tom. Hi. Thanks for joining us today. Oh, thank you so much for having me. How does hiking make you feel? Tired. Um, but I, to me, I like it when we stop and we're on a beautiful uh, mountaintop looking out over a valley and it's gorgeous. Or when it's all done and you get back to civilization and uh, pizza tastes like the most amazing manna from heaven. But when you're doing it, it's very hard work and I hate it. But when it's over, I love it, and when we stop for a break, I love it. Where is your next hike going to be? Our next hike is going to be in Sequoia National Park and Kings Canyon Park, uh, which is nearby. Both of those are in California um, in the Sierra Mountains. So, how did it go? If you found the interview a challenge to understand, don't worry. This is normal. Let's continue. When Tom returns from his hiking trips, he says pizza tastes like manna from heaven. This expression, manna from heaven, comes from the Bible and means an unexpected and very welcome gift. Tom is very happy to have pizza after eating such simple food while hiking in the woods. It's like a reward. Let's look at how Tom uses the adjectives beautiful and gorgeous. These are the adjectives he uses to describe the mountains and valleys where he hikes. The adjective beautiful means full of beauty. We can identify many adjectives by the ending F-U-L. Other adjectives ending in F-U-L are tasteful, hateful, wonderful, and so on. The adjective gorgeous, which means very beautiful, has the ending O-U-S. This is another common ending that helps to identify adjectives. Other adjectives ending in O-U-S are outrageous, courageous, glamorous, and humorous. The future is often expressed with the verb going and to be. I asked Tom where his next hike is going to be, and he says it is going to be in California. This is one of the several ways that anglophones express a future action or event. Here's another example. He is going to be in France for the meeting, or it is going to be sunny tomorrow. We hope you have enjoyed today's mini lesson from Video Language Network. For more free lessons like this one, plus our super expanded version, join us at our website at www videolanguagenetwork.com. At our website, you can also download transcripts, vocabulary aids, and exercises 
that will help you improve your English language skills. Well, that's all for now. Look for us next time on your local podcast sites. This is Anita Evans for Video Language Network.